Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 5, and uh, wow, we got some stuff to talk about. So we are on break from The Flash at the moment in regards to it, you know, being on our screens, but they are still currently filming the show, with the episode being filmed at the moment being that of episode 18, the fifth last episode for the season, which is also directed by Caitlin Snow, or Killer Frost herself, that being Danielle Panabaker. And for those that are interested, apparently she is killing it, you know, in a good way, obviously. So I am excited to see how her episode turns out when we finally do get to see it. But in regards to her episode, we got a decent amount of information drops from the set of her episode, which has sent some fans uh, crazy, is probably an understatement. And I guess some people are a bit concerned as well. And in regards to which side you're on, sort of depends on how much you know about what is going down in this episode. But I'm pretty sure I have exclusive information that no one else will have on this stuff until this, you know, video comes out when people will start to learn about this stuff. So be sure to watch the entire video for, mo for the most part because, yeah, there's a lot. But let's just say uh, Godspeed isn't the only new speeds to coming to the show in this episode. So, yeah. And obviously, spoiler alert for what we're going to be going over in this video. But yeah, in this video, we'll be going over some set photos as well as just general information from set for this episode, that being episode 18. But to start off, all of this information for the most part is coming from Canada Graphs. I will leave the link to his blog post in the, in the description down below, as I will only be using a handful of photos from his blog, but I think he has like 30 or so photos over there, so there's a lot more there that I'm not showing. So be sure to go check out that once this video, or once you finish this video, and trust me, you should, because uh, he is the real MVP on this one. But of course, let me know your opinions in the comment section down below on all of this. I'm interested to see what everyone has to say because, uh, yeah, I think there's going to be strong opinions from everyone watching. But yeah, to start off, the episode is actually entitled Godspeed. Godspeed is actually the, not the, the title of the episode. So I will just let that sink in for a bit. Now, we know that thanks to this shot here that Canagrass was able to get of the script cover. And before some smart ass writes in the comments, Ah, uh, Pagey, that's photoshopped. That's fake. No, it's real. But for those that are new to Godspeed, which would be surprising, Godspeed was Barry Allen's partner at the Central City Police Department, his real name being August Hart, who was struck by lightning during a Speed Force storm at the beginning of the whole DC Rebirth relaunch in the comics, you know, making him a speedster along with many others. Now, Barry trains August to be his speedster partner as well as other new speedsters in need. August, as Godspeed, goes around killing other speedsters and criminals in general, which was centered around the murder of his brother before eventually Barry figures out everything and Godspeed is taken down. Godspeed is just a bit of a loony who wanted the same thing Barry wanted, that being justice, the main and only difference being, or between them being, that he wasn't afraid to kill people to achieve that. Godspeed has sort of been presented as an anti-hero at times, but he is still evil and should still be categorized as a villain, but just not a major villain, nothing over the top. But now let's jump into everything that Canada Graphs had to say, and I will put some of the set photos up while we describe what went down on set. So The Flash was shooting scenes for episode 18 at the Vancouver Public Library before moving inside the CBC building across the street. Information for the episode was low due to directing for the episode being an in-house job because Daniel Panabaker was directing. But luckily for Canada Graphs, he's always attentive and eagle, uh, eagle I might say, uh, caught the binder of a crew member with the title for the episode showing that obviously being Godspeed. The earliest scene had a group of cops chasing someone while a stunt double was filling in for Jessica Parker Kennedy as Nora gets thrown through the air into a car. After the stunts were done, Jessica came in for a very short shoot. She was dressed in casual clothes in all black, which you may see as uh, you wish you might. She was dressed in casual clothes in all black, which you may see are the same as the 100th episode clothing, uh, because the stunt doubles wearing them. And she seemed unfazed by the toss her character had just endured. There was also a night scene as well. In the night scene, Grant Gustin and Jessica Parker Kennedy, you know Barry and Nora, do a scene together in the year 2049. It is a pretty intense scene that contains dialogue from Nora where she says, Dad, you don't have to do this. I promise I'll never see Thorn again. So obviously by episode 18, the secret is out. We'll just be interesting to see whether it is revealed in this episode or one of the episodes before it. And maybe Nora is just going against, you know, their warnings after finding out this information. We'll have to wait and see. But you might be thinking, oh, wow, that's some really good information. That must be the big information that Paige was talking about. Well, no, it's not. We haven't even started yet. But just to flesh everything out before we dive into the big stuff, a lot of the episode will take place in the year 2049. Like, all the stuff that was filmed there today, or earlier from, you know, the last one where all these set photos were taken, that was all 2049, and apparently 
the scenes being shot later today from this video goes up will also be all 2049 stuff as well so it seems like they're just getting it all done you know consecutively so obviously 2049 is the year that Nora is from and also the year that Reverse Flash is in at the moment in Iron Heights. Now in the scene where Barry and Nora are in like 2049 and Nora promises that she won't go and see Eobard Thorne again, she has her normal short hair. But in that first shot of Nora in the black clothing, her stunt double has that long hair in the, I think it's like a French braid over the shoulder, like Nora had all last season when she showed up at various points before getting a hair change before arriving in that final scene of season four. So are we going to see Nora before she travels back at one point, or is this going to be a fight scene? Once again, we'll have to wait and see, but she has two different hairstyles, so make of that what you will. And the police cars are futuristic looking and also have 2049 imprinted on them, just making sure we know what year we are in currently, I guess. But back to the topic of a fight scene, I have some pretty juicy details. I don't like using the word juicy, but I think it's the best adjective for this, uh, you know, for this scenario. And once again, I think I am the only one that has this information at this time, so a bit of a subtle flex. So there will be a scene, or at least a moment in the episode, and get ready for this, just, uh you know, creating some dramatic tension and anticipation. Okay, I think I'm done messing around. Okay, Godspeed. Okay, Godspeed catches Nora and Leah, and Godspeed goes on to kill Leah. Okay, wow. First off, there is your confirmation that Godspeed is actually in this episode, and it's not a meme title bait situation, because up to this point, Godspeed hasn't been mentioned apart from that title, and the title could have been a big bait because on the show before we've heard them use the word Godspeed. But yeah, Godspeed is in this episode. I know who is actually under the suit at the moment, like the stunt person, I think it is, but I don't think that will be the actor that actually goes, oh, I'm Godspeed. But that, that obviously might depend on the length that this character or the duration that this character will spend, be like spending in the universe. I know I might leave that discussion for another video until more stuff comes out about this episode. But yeah, as I said, Godspeed catches not just Nora, but also someone called Leah, and then proceeds to kill Leah. And here's another bit of bonus information. She's actually killed in Stag Industries in the year, you know, 2049, as I was saying, all this stuff is in the year 2049. So it makes sense that she's killed there. But Stag, uh, Stag Industries being there is interesting as well. Haven't heard that name for a while. But you might be wondering, who the hell is Leah? Why should we care? Well, this Leah in question is actually the character of Leah Nelson. Now, Leah Nelson is a character from the DC Comics universe, and as that little, like, scene, like, line thing does insinuate, yes, she is also a speedster in the comics. Now, Leah is from Earth-9 and also a part of the Secret Six, some of you might have heard of that. Now, we have no idea if Leah is supposed to be from Earth-1 as well as the, you know, the year 2049 on the show, or maybe she is from a different Earth, maybe Godspeed is from her Earth as well, and he's actually targeting her. As I said, it's quite hard to be sure at this point in time from the limited stuff we do know, but from this, we know that Godspeed is in the episode and that he is a straight up killer, like he is murdering other speedsters. So they definitely aren't going to be playing up the whole anti-hero angle in this episode at least. But in regards to Godspeed, now that we know he is in the episode in some way, shape or form, and the episode title isn't some weird comic book bait type of thing, is he just going to be focused in this episode and then disappear? Similar to a villain like Shade in season three, who was a pretty big character in the comics, but was just thrown away after one episode in the show. Or will Godspeed be, like in this episode, be a setup for stuff in the future? Maybe he's next season's villain. Well, with Godspeed, I've always said this, and I will stand by it, you guys know this. If we use the character like he is in the comics, he is just a minor villain. He's not big bad worthy. But if you change it up, then he could work, and that's a big could. But as he is from the comics, he is basically a wannabe Zoom. That's all he really is. Also, it looks like he is from the future, like the year 2049, but as we know, speedsters, time travel, it's a thing. So maybe he is time traveling in this episode as well. We can't be sure as to what is really going on here. So if he is just a one episode thing, then I'm fine with that as I don't see him really working as a long-term villain, but I know others will be mad because it is a character they have wanted to, you know, see shot for some time now. But one thing I am both curious and very interested to see is what his suit looks like. And we could be getting a look at that at some point later on today from when this video goes up or possibly the day after. That's if people get lucky that are like in and around the set. The scene where he kills Leah was filmed in a car park or like under a car park. So no one was actually able to get shots of that, unfortunately. But in regards to setup for next season, what if they make Godspeed Red Death? 
and I think this has actually been, been, been like a bit of a meme, but what if they set this episode up where Godspeed is a villain and then something happens to him in this episode where he's corrupted by something and then he's set up for Red Death next season? Just keep that in your head, put that at the back of your head just to let it linger and slow cook a bit, get a bit moist. I hate using the word moist, but there you go. So that might happen. Have to wait and see. But, you know, Godspeed becoming Red Death. We know they name drop Red Death. They never name drop Godspeed. So have to wait and see. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support. Uh, as I said, check out Canada Graphs. Link to his blog post will be in the description down below. Lots more photos and info over there. So go check it out. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on what we went over in this video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.